Welcome to the West Texas town of El Paso, the Sun Bowl, and home to the UTEP Miners. And it's always a pleasure to come out this way. And we're certainly excited about the game we have in store. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we see the number seven team in the country, the Kennesaw State Owls. Taking on the winners of three straight, the UTEP Miners. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis. The give to the back. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. Ron, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Blasted as he lets it go. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football. And now they face third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. Looking to throw on third. And he makes the catch inside the 15. Running free, going to the end zone, but way oh, back oh, behind oh, him, oh, there's oh. a flag on the field. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and some. So UTEP's offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David. Quick handoff. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that deep shot's going to wind up incomplete, but we do have a flag on the That's field. Good. Let's see what the official says. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. So after the flag, a fresh set of downs for the offense. It's first and ten. He's looking to throw it. They've got the screen set up. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. He's going to pass. He'll take a deep shot here. Makes the grab, and he will score. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And off from the shotgun. Bulls his way forward. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. At the end of the quarter, it's Kennesaw State on top. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary.
to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. At the 35, he's got room. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They'll give it to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Full start. Full start. Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. He wants to take the top off. He's got it. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Got it. Low. Oh. Here we go. They'll run it. Got enough for the first. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught! You don't give up! He'll start this drive firing. He'll take the deep shot. And he's got it inside the 35. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Time to take a shot. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And he got away from the defense. Ready up. Roll it, roll it. In blue. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. He's got it down the left. And he's running in the open. And the defense couldn't corral him. And he... Okay, ready? Alert, alert. Easy. Ready. They'll throw it on first down. Going for it all. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. And guys, if I'm on offense, I am staying aggressive. I know you didn't connect there, but make sure you keep testing this defense, because even if you complete one of those throws, that could be the game-breaking play. And the ball will be grabbed at the 30-yard line. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Owl! Jackrabbit. 
It's a draw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense. the shotgun they go to the ground not much doing there he gets it to the 26 a gain of one the big defensive tackles in the middle they're not always the best pass rushers but they are strong and i say country strong they put their hands on you you feel it they lock people out on the line of scrimmage they create separation they wrap running backs up and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big guys and you know when we talk about great third down defenses it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down you've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense and this is going to be incomplete on third down Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away defense did a great job third and short on the opponent side of the field they're expecting quick throw everybody they dug their heel in the ground they're able to break on the ball They'll go to the ground. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Going to the ground. Found a little bit of running room. Knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. As they get set to snap a time winding down here in the quarter. At the end of the quarter, it's Kennesaw State on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. A third down play to open up this quarter. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And there were some collisions in there. The D finally stops him short of the marker. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And you make the stop, and that is exactly... They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the ground with the back. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Offense has a huge lead right now in the fourth quarter, and they're just going to run this football to try to ice the game, being more dominant, being more physical at the point of attack. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. They go to the ground. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front on the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Let's go! On the run, it's Walters. And he can't grab the bullet pass on third. 
down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. And how about this offense? They're, they're not worried about the clock. They're not worried about the score. They're not worried about early and down. Still trying to execute their offense. Still trying to make big plays. And they've had a great day so far. They make the stop, but there is a Personal penalty foul. marker foul. down. Let's, Let's see what the call is. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. When you hit this point in the season, week seven, you sort of turn the corner and you remain unbeaten at this point, you've morphed into a championship contender. Yes, but you don't want to peek too far ahead, Reese. You kind of want to be like, eh, nothing to see here, just move on. Uh, we haven't accomplished what we wanted yet. We haven't accomplished what we set out to do. It's week seven. I know you guys got bigger hopes and bigger dreams than just being to week seven and being undefeated. And guys, I've been really impressed with this team because they just seemed to always have an identity. From the very beginning of the year, they knew who they were, they knew what they were going to go out and try to accomplish and how they wanted to dominate teams. And they've been able to do that to this point. So David, to your point, 